Hello everyone and welcome to my double review of two non-transforming knockouts being the McDonald's vehicle mode knockout. I need to adjust my camera. So yeah, it is the McDonald's knockout and the Transformers recent RED knockout. So first we're just going to take a look at the McDonald's toy because it's going to be fast. So it's just knockouts car mode there's just some molded detail on the trunk uh, he does have his decals on the side of the car with the yellow rims they're just painted all like this orange yellow color front you have this one gray piece of plastic for the grill and then there's just a bunch of molded detail and this side is the same as the other uh, the top of it just has the Decepticon logo that's the bottom. It says Transformers Prime. For some, and then there's some older detail. But this thing, as you probably noticed on the hood, there's these two things. And this gray plastic is actually just a button that when you press, shoots those up and reveals some older detail. So you've got that side and you've got that side. And uh, the vehicle mode actually rolls fairly well. But anyways, let's go on to the main part of the review now, being the Transformers R.E.D. Knockout. So, the first thing I'm going to say about this figure, the legs on mine are extremely loose. Nothing else is just the knees. But otherwise, this is, knock this is clearly knockout. Let's just take a look at the head sculpt. It is a very nice head sculpt. And you've got all the detail going all the way down. This is the back of the figure. Uh, there are some non-painted uh, things that are supposed to be painted on this figure. So that's one thing you should know. But uh, anyways, here's the side. And here's this side. So the wheels actually do all roll. Not really freely, but they do roll if you want them to. See, uh, both of those do. And surprisingly, the ones in the feet also do. Those, These ones roll actually a bit freer than the other ones. And there's that one, and... Yep. As you can see, they roll. Uh, but let's get into the articulation, shall we? Head can look side to side that far and that far can to look up it can look up that far actually down that far can move side to side arms can do a full 360 this is a separate part so you do have to move that when you move the arm uh shoulders can move in and out bicep swivel maximum elbows uh you have a wrist swivel it can move up and down, although mine doesn't really want to. Um, there is a waist swivel. This actually does have a functioning forwards and backwards ab crunch, unlike the RC. Our legs can move forwards that far, back that far, out that far. There is a thigh swivel. Our legs can pull a 90. The feet can pivot either way, and they can go up that far and down that far. But anyways, let's get let's do the comparison, shall we? So here he is. If I can get him standing, he is gonna be a bit crunched over. Or you know what? Here, we'll do it like this from now on. Uh, so here he is with the Prime Beast Hunters. Deluxe Class RC. So as you can tell, he is... Hold on. Let me just actually straighten her out. So yeah. Uh, she is a lot smaller. Or I should say more so. Knockouts are a lot bigger. Oh. Here he is with... Earthrise RC. As you can see, a nut... It's not as big of a difference, but it's still a difference. 
I've also been into the Red RC last. So, here he is with Marvel Legends Eternals Sprite. And here he is with his other Prime uh, Red counterpart, RC. So, look at, but, whoa, well, I actually have RC out. I want to show you. She does not have a proper ab crunch, forwards or backwards. Just does not want to work. But anyways, that's been my review for the Transformers Prime Red Knock Red and McDonald's Knockout. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, please leave a like and, uh, and subscribe. And share the video uh, with anyone who you think might enjoy it. And if you would like to leave a comment, just letting me how it is, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching my review, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.